In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, who appeared to us in the person of Master Fahd Muhammad. And I further bear witness that the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad is indeed our exalted Christ. And I would go even further to bear witness that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is the Vicar of Christ in our midst. He is the one that is carrying us safely on his shoulders to the other side. That's right. The one who has come in the volume of the books for a people with a condition that was so, so bad, so destitute, so trampled and run down to some of the scientists didn't even think that we was redeemable, that we was repairable. They didn't think that the rusty locks could be polished up and unlocked. But because of a man who traveled 9,000 miles and who saw hope, who had faith that this could be possible, that it could be done, that we, a wretched people, can be saved. Not, we're not talking about a prophet being sent to us to come to us and deliver us a message. We're talking about God himself came in the person of a man to save us, his chosen people. And he has given Minister Farrakhan a double portion of that anointing of his spirit to do the work that no other man has come to do for us. And it is in those three names that I would like to greet you all with the greeting words of peace and paradise of Asalaamu Alaikum. I thank you all for joining us today here at Muhammad Mosque number 15B. It's a pleasure and an honor to have you all here to hear the life-giving teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I would like to thank Allah first and foremost for just allowing me just a, a the gift of breath, just the gift of life. Because we know that a lot of people didn't make it today. A lot of our friends, our family members, they're, not, they're no longer here to partake in the word that is given to us. So I would like to thank Allah just for having life today. I want to thank Student Minister Stanley for allowing me the opportunity to come before you just to share some inspiration with you all. Although it was unexpected, but all praise be to Allah. Right. So I, I thank Student Minister Stanley for that. And he spoke on the title last week of My Redeemer Lives, and I will be the winner, living or dead. And it's such a powerful title to know that you will be the winner, living or dead. Because we know that sometimes, you know, life has its ups and downs. Mm -hmm. And we know that through circumstance, we have been conditioned by our open enemy to think a certain way. Yes. And we seem though at times we're defeated because we did not accomplish what it is that we set out to accomplish. That's right. But we know that what we set out to accomplish is not always the mission that Allah God had for us to accomplish in the beginning. Right. We know that our mindset that we have taken on is from our open enemy. That's right. So if we don't know self, if we don't know God, if we don't know the devil, then we don't know what it is that we're actually set here on this earth to do. So I want to go into continuing to the book of Job. Now we know that Job, in the eyesight of Allah God, was an upright man. Right. He was a just man. He was yeah. blameless in the eyesight of, of Allah God. And he feared God and shunned evil. Now we can always say, well, how can somebody be upright? How can somebody, you know, shun evil and fear God? 
But in the book, it says that our ways are not a lot God's ways. And our thoughts are not his thoughts. So the way that we view our sister and our brother is not the way that Allah God views them. Because he looks at the heart. Yeah, he knows our weaknesses and he knows that we will mess up here and there. He knows that we will stumble and fall. That's but right. he also knows the condition that we was put in by our open enemy. That's right. So he has granted us success from that. So he has given us an opportunity to get to know him on another level. He has allowed us an opportunity to through the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan to turn our hearts back to the Father. Yes, and have the Father turn his heart back to us uh -huh. to allow us that fair chance. Yes, ma'am. Now, we're going to continue in the book of Job. And I'm going to start from verse 6. And it says, Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came among them. Right. And the Lord said to Satan, from where do you come? That's right. So Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro the earth and from walking back and forth on it, yeah. seeking whom I may devour. That's right. Now we know, for one, Satan is real. Yes. That's right. That's right. We know that our open enemy is real. Right. We know what he has done for us ever since we have come over here in the wilderness of North America. That's right. So we know that he has stopped to and fro. That's he right. has devoured us. He's, he's right. devoured our mind state. That's he's right. devoured our bodies. He's devoured our family members. Yes, he's, he's flooded guns within the community. He's He's brought drugs within the community. He's poisoned the food, That's poisoned right. the water, That's right. even our thought process. Right. So we know that he has done a number on us. That's right. So with that being said, the Lord said to Satan, well, have you considered my servant Job, yes. that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, mm. one who fears God, and shuns evil. Now, we also know that Allah God created us in his image right. and in his likeness. That's right. So we know that the essence of our makeup, the essence of who we really are, is God Allah himself. That's right. So this right here is just a temple. Yes. It's just a vessel. That's right. It's just housing the spirit of Allah God that's in us. That's right. So when Allah God says, have you considered my servant Job? Well. He's not speaking on just the outer appearance of Job That's and how right. Job looked and That's how right. he's made up to be. That's he's right. speaking on the essence of himself right. within Job. That's right. yes, yes. And he's asking, have you considered my servant yes, Job? Yes, yes. And that's the same thing with each and every one of us. That's because right. when you are chosen people, Allah God will, he, he, you don't have to do anything for Satan to come after that's you. Right, because right, Satan right. knows who you are anyway. That's right, that's so right. sometimes Allah God will offer you to Satan right. so that you can be tried to bring the best out of yeah. you yeah. and to see how faithful that's you really right. are to him. Right. All praises are due to Allah. So Allah God said, have you considered my servant Job? So keep this in mind today. What you're going through, Allah God has asked Satan, have he, have he considered my servants, That's right. which is every single one of you. That's Come right. On. Come on. So have Satan considered the servants of Allah God? That's right. So Satan answered the Lord and said, does Job fear God for nothing? Mm -hmm. Have you not made a hedge around him, around his household? and around all that he has on every side. So Satan is saying that, look, you got him covered. You That's got right. him protected. Go on every side, That's there's nothing right. that I can do to him because of the hedge of protection That's that you right. have around him. Yes. So Allah God is, is, has given him permission to touch yes. Job. Yes. He said, I will lift the hedge of protection from around mm -hmm. him. That's right. But, but 
do not lay your hands That's on right. his person. That's right. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord God. And the day came when Job's sons and daughters were eating and drinking in their oldest brother's house. And one thing about Job, Job was so mindful to Allah that he didn't, his, his sons and daughters, he knew that his children could possibly sin against God. Right. So he had already made a sacrifice yeah. and a burnt offering yes. up to Allah God yes. just in case. Yes. He said, just in case my children ain't yes. right and they sin against you, even yes. though I have raised them up in That's the way right. that they should go, but just in case yes. they sin against you, I'm offering this burnt sacrificial offering up to you on their behalf. Right. So forgive them That's right. in advance for what they do. Right. So Satan began to to try Job. Yeah. He began to attack That's Job. Right. So one thing after another started to take place. Mm -hmm. His 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 um his sheep, his his animals, yes. his livestock begin to die off. Mm, right. His children end up getting killed. Yes. So it was four servants back to back to back. One couldn't even can, couldn't run fast enough right. to come with the bad news right. without the other one coming right behind him. Mm -hmm. So he was not even able to, to digest what the first one said before right. the second, the third, and the fourth one come with some more bad news. That's right. Now how many of us have gotten bad news after bad news Ooh. after Ooh. bad news Ooh. after Ooh. bad Ooh. news Ooh. in Ooh. our lives <laughs> that has just caused Ooh. us to not be able to even take a breath That's without right. being able to deal with that one, right. then here come another one. That's right. You know, sometimes the meteorologists, they, 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 they try to give us a 10-day weather forecast. Right, right, right. That's right. And sometimes it don't go as they always say right. that the weather is going to come. That's right. Now, sometimes we get these storms that no one knows about and they right. come so fast in our lives right. that we don't even have time to give them a name. That's so right. we, those are those unknown or unnamed storms mm. that come and they overtake us to the point to where we don't have time to prepare ourselves right. for what's ahead of us. Right. We don't have time to prepare ourselves and get our survival kits ready right. and, and gird up our wounds so that we can take this trial head on. Go ahead, sis. Go ahead. And that's how, how Satan began to come after Job and attack us. And we can attest because of the trials that have come into our that's lives. Right. Now the minister said that we are we we normally go through the regular trials, the regular stress, mm -hmm. the regular depression in our lives, our everyday lives, and our brains gives us enough medicine that we need to fight off those regular, quote unquote, stress and trials that go we go through on a daily basis. Go but because judgment is on America, mm -hmm. yes. Yes, and because the, the judgment is coming down so great on America that even the chosen ones are feeling the effect. Okay. So now okay. the trials are much greater. Yeah. Yeah. Now the stress is much greater. Mm. Now the process that we have to go through is much greater. Okay. So now that when we begin to process what it is that we're actually going through, our brain does not have enough of the, the insulin that is right. needed mm -hmm. to be released for us to be able to function and to to overcome some of the trials that we're faced with. So with that being said, a lot of us do not run to a lot. We run to drugs because we cannot face and deal with the reality of what's going on because that trial is so great. When our son or our, our daughter get gunned down or get killed or get murdered by our open enemy or even by our sisters and brothers that's out there in the street because of their ignorance of who they are. That pain is so great. It causes us to go into a deep depression. It causes us to kind of become bitter. Yeah. It causes us to, to be shaken in our faith. That's right. And so it was with Job. 
And it got to the point to, to where it was so great and so severe that Job, he tore his robe, he shaved his head, and he covered himself in ashes. Yeah. And he began to cry right. out That's to right. Allah God. That's right. And sometimes we have to get in that place to where we are sincere in our heart. Yes. And we really cry out to God. Yes. Because he knows yes. what's going on with That's us. He right. knows the situation That's and the right. circumstance. Right. But yet all in all, he still want to know, do you still right. in the midst of your trial, yes. trust me. Right. Do you still in the midst of your circumstances know that I am God. Right. That I created myself out of triple darkness. Right. That I dispelled and did away with the impossibility. So nothing is impossible right. for me. I offer you have been to a lot. In situations that you know yourself you can do nothing about. Right, you can right. do nothing about that drug habit that you have. That's you can right. do nothing about your children and your daughters out there strung That's out. Right. You know, going the wrong way and you know that you didn't raise them up to go that way. That's right. Do you know and do you trust God to be who he was created to be in your life and in that circumstance to change that? To turn that around? So therefore, when you lay yourself before Allah God and when you bow down at his feet, what good is it to pray to a God that you don't have enough faith in or you don't believe in him enough to change your situation or to change your circumstance? That's right. He is who he says he That's is. Right. He said that he is not a man That's that right. he should lie, That's nor right. the son of man that he needs right. to repent. That's right. So do we believe in the God yes. that we say we believe in? Yes. Do we believe in him to do all that he has done? What more do he have to show us? Good he has performed miracle after miracle That's after right. miracle. Yes. Is he not the same yesterday, today, and forevermore? Right. Yes, the same one that yes, brought you out of that situation right. years ago. Oh, yes, the same yes, one that brought oh, you yes. out of that situation yesterday. That's right. Is he not the same one that yes. can do it today? Yes, he is. That's right. So Job began to cry out yes. to God. Yes. Instead of running to a woman, a man, <laughs> alcohol, drugs, right. to ease that pain, right. to only give you that temporary high. Yes. When a law God can give you that natural high. Yes. Yes. When a law God can take you in his bosom. Mm. That's right. And he can keep you and hide you and cover you That's and protect right. you. That's right. From the fiery dots of Satan. Yes. That's right. Come on, sister. So hey, Job please. began to cry out Jeez. to a law God. And he began to say, naked, I came from my mother's womb, yes. and naked, I shall return there. Yes. And the Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. That's right. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's See, right. one thing about when you're going through a trial, it's your attitude that That's determines right. your altitude. Right. And if you cannot bless the Lord God when he gives it to you, why can't you bless him if he take it away from you? That's right. Because if he take it away, sure, he can, he can give it back, That's and he right. can double that. That's he right. can triple that. Oh, yes. But are you going to be bitter and angry because he took it away That's from right. you? That's Maybe right. he took it away because right. you didn't do what you were supposed That's to do. Right. Right. Maybe he took it away because you you abused it. Wow. You abused the gift that he had given you. Yes, wow. Maybe he took it away because he want to see if... You can be ruler of a little bit. He can make you ruler of a much. So maybe he took it away just for you to, for him to see if you're gonna really serve him for the God that he is. That's right. Because if you can't serve him when you have nothing, that's right. Then how can you serve him if he bless you with much? Right. Then you'll get the big head and think that you did it all yourself. Right. And then you'll try to take the place of a law God and become your bliss. Yeah. And then he'll still have to bring you down right. to let you know that there is no God but well, him. Right. Right. So he takes things away and he gives it to you as well. That's yeah. right. So will you be grateful? with what he has given to you yeah. and still be able to praise him when he take it away from you. Yeah, yeah. Because it all belongs to him. That's right. So it says again, there was a day 
when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came along to present himself before the Lord as well. So here we go again, a second time around. Right. Satan has come with the angels right. and presented himself to Allah God. That's right. And he's saying to him, Satan, where did you come from? And Satan answered again and said, from going to and fro the earth, walking back and forth in it to see who, who I may devour. Yes. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Mm -hmm. Now you would think that, okay, God, what, what, you know, you keep on, you, you keep on considering me. You know, what is it about right, right, me right, right, right. that you feel that right. I need to be Go tried and attacked <laughs> from Satan? Right. Uh -huh. What? about me. Break it down. Although, you know, I know that I am willful, uh, that I am fearfully and wonderfully made in your image and likeness. Right. And I have the essence of you in me. But what is it about me that you need to keep sending <laughs> Satan to me? So, at this time, Satan asked Allah God to remove not just a hedge of protection, from around him so that he can attack him. But he said, if you take everything from around him, if you remove everything, mm -hmm. then surely he will curse you to right, your face. Right, right. Come on, come on. Okay, so now we have already been tried against Satan right. with our jobs, with right. finances. Right. And some of us, we, we know that, oh, if you take away my money, I, I don't know how I'm gonna survive. I don't right. know how I'm gonna live. Right. But see, one thing about us as being black people, you know, when we have money and when we didn't have money, right. we still knew how to survive. Right. Because right. the mind that a lot right. God has placed in us, That's we right. can bring something from nothing. That's right. That's right. We've always been able to maintain. That's right. Back in the day That's when we it, it was a household of ten. Right. And the father was the only one working and mama, she had to stay home and tend to those children. Right. And whether it was one can of beans or one bag of dry beans that was put on that pot right. with a pot of rice on That's the side, right. she still made a meal to feed everybody right. out of that little bit that That's she had. Right. Right. So we know that when it comes to a lot, God taking everything away from us and we have to be creative and, and we have to survive from scratches, That's right. we were still able to do it. That's right. So now with, with, with the finances being gone, and now that our business is going down in shambles, then here come a lot God considering us again right. to Satan. Go ahead. So this time, it was with his health. Mm -hmm. So That's right. balls began to form from head yes, to toe. Yes. And Job began, the, the balls became so bad that he, he began to get the ashes yes. and begin to to rub itself with the ashes mm -hmm. to to soothe try to soothe the pain of the painful boys. Yes. Yes. And sometimes with us, sickness come upon us. Illness is not just a physical illness right. in our body, right. but a, a illness in our mind. Right. Right. To the right. point to right. where right. we can't even we wouldn't we're like they say, you done lost your mind. Right. Yes, we have right. lost our minds right. because we're not even thinking according to the ways of Allah God no more. Right. We're not even functioning and doing what we're supposed to be doing as far as our health is concerned. Yeah. Right. We eat the wrong foods right. and then they're already putting poison right. in the foods That's to right. try to take us out anyway. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, there's GMO now, right. genetically modified Organism. Oh. Organism, cells yes. that they are trying to, cause they take a little bit of the original thing right. and then they mix it with a whole bunch of other garbage. Right. <laughs> as like cloning. Right, right. And we know that if once anything is out of its original state, then it's grafted and it, it's devil. Go ahead. So therefore, we're not even partaking and we're not even eating the real thing right. no more. That's right. The minister once said, that a lot of people, they, 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 they're buying the concentrated orange juice now right. because it looks 
like the real thing. Right, right, they right, taste right. like the real right. thing. Go ahead. Go ahead. But it's not the original orange juice. Right. Right. It's from concentrate. Go ahead. He said you can you can say it's parquet, but we know that parquet is not butter. That's right. Okay. So we know that once that original thing has been tampered with, right. then it's no longer in its divine state no That's right. more. That's right. So we begin to see Job with the boils coming up out of him. Yes. You know, we begin to see his skin look other than what we're used to seeing. Right, right, right. right. So even with us, even though our mind is, is, is sick, our mind is ill, mm. it causes uh, uh, us to manifest and look another way right, right. in the physical. That's right. So his wife, mm -hmm. and it's one thing about when you're going through a trial and someone else don't understand because your trial is your Go trial ahead. and right. nobody else can walk those Go shoes ahead. except That's for you. Right. And when somebody right. close to you right. don't understand what Allah God is doing in you and for you, then they try to give you advice. That's right. They try to tell you, you should do this and, right. and you should do that. Right. But one thing about Job, regardless of what, That's right. he still focused on Allah God That's because he right. it's one thing about having that personal relationship That's with right. God. Right. So when you have that personal relationship, yeah, you can hear what someone else is saying. That's right. But at the same time, you know what you need to do right. with your That's relationship right. with God. Right. So his wife began to get in her feelings and emotions, yeah. and we are taught to rise above our emotions and to the thinking of God. So his wife begins to say, are you still holding on to your integrity? Right. <laughs> Why don't you curse God and die? That's Just right. go ahead and die. That's right. Because you already look dead from what I'm looking at right. and I'm seeing you. Right. But just don't know <laughs> right. that what's on the inside That's is right. still well alive That's and present. Right. Right. So it's just the outer appearance That's that right. you're looking at. Right. What you're going through and what other people see on you, it's just the outer appearance. Right. Because deep within you, that's the truth and living God. Right. That's where the truth lies right. within. Right. So don't focus on the outer appearance that's of somebody right. and what right. they're going through that's because right. that's just a transformation that's, that's right. taking place. Right. It's like the butterfly right. effect right. that's right. taking right. place. Right. You're just in your metamorphosis yeah. state yeah. right now. That's so right. you may look ugly to somebody. Yeah. You may look roughed up to somebody. Yeah. You may look other than yourself. That's right. But it's okay. Yeah. Stay in the process. That's right. Go that's through right. the process. That's right. And and stay in there until you become fully developed That's so right. you can blossom and bloom into that beautiful butterfly. Mm. So when the wife of Job said curse God and die, mm. Job looked at his wife mm. and he said, <laughs> you speak as one of the foolish women speak. Right. Right. Shall we indeed accept good from God? And shall we not accept adversity? That's Come right. On. Come on. We can't just accept the good That's from God right. and then when, when when a trial befall us, That's then right. we wanna we wanna act other than ourselves right. and act foolish right. and just walk away. That's just like a, a a foolish woman, a loose woman out there in the streets. If a man can't give me money or you use him or when he have money. And then when his money is gone, right. then you gone. Right, right. Or just like a, a, a man. When that woman don't want to be bothered with you or she don't want to give up.